sean todos bienvenidos. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here. Today's Tuesday. Trying to get the Tuesday uh, truth accurate compilation done. It's been taking me weeks. I can't even get it done. Alright, so I'm pushed back another week on that. So hopefully next week we'll be seeing the truth accurate comparison video. I know what to do, play a teaser. So hopefully next week we'll be seeing that. But today, I'm trying to put something together. It's Tuesday. I gotta put a video out, alright? That's what we're supposed to be doing, you know, keep Coach Cheese outdoors. What's it gonna be? Nothing much. We're out doing uh, getting bait, alright? We run lots of traps for uh, blackfish and we need bait. Obviously, we use our bunker. It's very oily fish for the traps and it's a great bait. So we go out there at the end of the season when the bunker run and we snag all the bunker. We don't snag it, we, we freaking. You believe this freaking one's going off right now? Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. Alright, so basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to put a video together. Right now you're sitting in the garden. You can cheese up to us, alright? Lots of stuff going on here. So I'll give you a little uh, dimension to this video. But what we did today, it's just going to be making bait. Why we make get the bait, we fish it, we chunk it obviously, but we also take some home, put it in our uh, chest freezers because we need it for bait for our green crab traps. Fall brings in our blackfish season and we trap our own crabs. So we need the bunker to put in our traps, all right? So usually we freeze about 50 bunker for the uh, for the season for the traps. And then the other stuff we freeze again, we fresh freeze it, all right? At least the stuff that I know I netted is fresh. By the way, that cool was given to me by the Air Force. I love those guys and girls, the Airmen, plus the US Coast Guard, Navy, Marine Corps, Army. They all signed it, love it. Present soldiers on the signs, you can notice by the hat I'm wearing today. Just a tribute to our military. That's the way I roll. Alright, live action. Make a right, go right, go right, go right, go right, go right, go right, 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 go right, 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 right. Sound effects are key, obviously. Obviously, not my best throw one and two o'clock little concave. I hate though. Good, good, good. All right, so what you see here is the uh, hunters run the boat. He's running it in a tight circle around that net. It's kind of pushing those bunker back into the pod under the net. They don't want to go through the air. They're afraid of it. So they swim back into the middle as the net falls on top of them and obviously catches them. All right, you got to be real careful here, though. You don't want to get too tight when you hit the cast net with the prop and suck the uh, guy with the net into the prop. And uh, all you're going to hear is this. And that's not good. One, two, three. Let's go. We stick in the cooler, we don't stick it with a lot of ice, we fill up that cooler, bring it back to the house, and then we bag them all, and we don't let them kind of slur in ice, we kind of let them stay in their skin, you know, this skelly freaking savagery, silky, Oh my goodness, scummy, he's trying to play good video. They're, 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 work. they're scummy, they're slime, the slime is the way I'm looking for them. You know, we let them stay in their slime, put them in bags all together, and let them slime each other, Key component to catching fish is that slime, so we, we're very cognizant of keeping that slime on those fish, all right? So what we do is we're just going to take those fish, throw them in the cooler, just a hair of ice on, on the bottom, load that cooler up, bring it out, bring them home, freeze them up, and maintain that bait the best we can. Hunter's going to throw the uh, net for our buddy Kenny, who's out there trying to snag these baits, all right? So obviously a net's going to do a lot better than uh, snagging, so we uh, kind of helped him out, gave him his uh, share of bunker so he can go fish the rest of the night. All right, so here goes Hunter. He's uh, learning how to throw the cast net. Not the best throw, but obviously the results speak differently. Take care. All right, folks. The net I'm using right here is a Betts Super Pro. It's a 8-foot net, and it's got 5 8 inch mesh and 1.4 pounds per foot of lead, all right? You gotta know this one thing, in New York State where I am, 10 foot is your maximum width, all right? So don't mess with anything more than that. So make sure you know what your restrictions are and what state you are, New York State, 10 foot maximum radius, all right? That's it. By no means is bets to call on, on cast nets. Uh, I highly suggest you go to say the norreese.com, visit their forums and search cast nets, or subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine. They're always doing articles on cast nets, what cast net for what species. 
This uh, cast net right here is 5 8 inch. It's good for me when I throw on a peanut bunker, big peanut bunker, and big snappers, or at least season. That's what I use this for mostly. However, if you're in a pinch and you're on the bunker, big ones, obviously the one quart, one uh, 1.4 pound per linear foot is very good for that too. All right, so thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. If you dig it, like it. If you don't dig it, oh no! Pretend you never even saw this video, all right? Yeah. Shake it easy. Subscribe, all right? New one's coming out Tuesday. We're trying to get that other uh, comparison video out, and uh, it's been a lot of work, but we'll get it there, right? So take care, everybody. Not that windy out today, so it's another brush your hair index. Shake it easy.